Okay, I'm going to be graphing this equation right here, this quadratic equation, and I want to use some of these uh, handy tricks that I've just learned about uh, the axis of symmetry and the vertex. Uh, so first, what I'm going to do is find the horizontal shift. I'll do that by taking negative 4, take its opposite, that's 4, cut it in half, that's 2, divide by 2 right here, and I get 1. So I know that the x-coordinate of the vertex is 1. I'll just type that right down here. Well, to find the y-coordinate, I'll just take that x-coordinate and put it right in here for x there and x there. That's going to get me, let's see, 1 squared is 1 times 2. So this whole thing here is 2. 4 times 1 is 4. So I'm going to have 2 minus 4. That's negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So I'll just keep typing that right down here. 1, negative 3. So I've found then that the vertex is right here at 1, negative 3. Make that 1, negative 3 right here. Well, I also know some very helpful information. Right here, I'm told that the y-intercept is negative 1. So let's put a point right there on the y-axis at negative 1. Well, I also know that the axis of symmetry goes right through the vertex. So there's my axis of symmetry, which means I get a free point right over here. So I've already got three points on this parabola pretty easily. Well, I do need some more points, so I think what I'll do is uh, pick a number for x, and I've chosen to pick a 3 for x, and if I put 3 in for x, here's the work I get. You can see I've put 3 in for x in each place, and when I calculate this, 3 squared is 9, times 2 is 18. This right here will be 12, so 18 minus 12 is 6, minus 1 is 5. So I get the point 3, 5. We'll put a point right there at 3, 5. Well, and remember, because this is the axis of symmetry, I get a free point straight over here on the opposite side of it, same height. And that ought to give me enough information to graph a fairly decent parabola by hand. I won't try it here because I'm working with a mouse. Okay, we'll try another one maybe too.